Okay, we're moving on to 1.4. Okay, this is the last question of question one. And then that means by the time we finish this question, we would have got 32 marks in the bag, which is just over 20% of this paper. Okay, so we're still in the comrades narrative. It was talking about in the medical statistics for the race held on the 4th of June. It tells us the race started at half past five in the morning and it finished at half past five in the afternoon. Okay, and here's the medical statistics. Um, athletes starting the race, athletes finishing the race, right? So the number finishing the race can never be more than the ones that started, otherwise there's some cheating issues going on, right? Athletes treated in the medical tent, hospital treated athletes, hospital admitted athletes, okay? So those were where they were quite um, severely ill, right? Or needed some hectic medical attention. Okay, so 1.4.1. Write down, okay, so we're using this table, write down the maximum time given to athletes to complete the comrades. So we know that they can start at 5.30 in the morning and they can finish at 5.30 in the afternoon. So we know that there, if you say 17 minus 5, it gives us 12. Okay, so that is our answer, 12 hours. Okay, we know that between five in the morning and five in the afternoon is always 12, right? It's the same between six in the morning and six at night. There's always 12 hours, okay? Here, I ignore the 30s because they were the same, so they cancel each other out, okay? So exactly 12 hours between them, okay? Then it says, state if the medical statistics data is discrete or continuous. Okay, so they're testing whether you understand the difference here. Discrete, right, means that it is a set number. Continuous means it's on a spectrum. Okay, it can, it's in a range. Okay, here we know that it's discrete, right? There's specific numbers, right? Just specific numbers. There's no sort of continuum of people that went, right? The amount of people that initially did it, there could have been any number from the this, this subset, right? But the number of people that actually needed medical attention were specific numbers. It's a discrete number. Okay. Cool. 1.4.3 says, write down the ratio of athletes starting the race to athletes finishing. So starting to finishing, those who started was 17,031 and those who finished was 13,000 and 52 okay they didn't tell us to simplify the ratio okay so you can actually just leave it like this i know often we do have to simplify it but they haven't stated that right also this is not an easy one to simplify so don't create work for yourself where there isn't work okay so that is the end of that video and we can now move on to question two